Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Tevonks channel. Today, we're going to be building the real great Gundam Asteroid Red Frame. So, you, you know, I have the expansion set from the third company called BTF, and I never really do it. So, now I got the main frame, so I can mess with the expansion set now. So, you know, Red Frame is not something that you know very not knowing about because we all know that um, it got a uh, chrome, chrome plated silver sword in it. The katana and then we have you know very traditional RG things at the description of the side as you can see here the actions it looks kind of cool though isn't it okay so you know so let's not talk about the box I'm good I'm just gonna open up the runners first All right, now let's look at the runners so First, we're gonna quickly flick through the instruction menu. Uh, it got the description of the kind of asteroid red frame. So uh, there's a lot of things. So Gabriel straight, and there's a description of it. So we're just gonna quickly flick through this. I actually built a lot of asteroids. Just a just a quick FYI for you. I built the two premium Van Dyne's, the blue frame and the gold frame. So you, if you want to check the review out, it's in the playlist, and that's pretty much the same. Okay, so now let's look at the runner. So first we got a G two runner. I put it in the bag because I don't want to scratch it or damage it first. So the G two runner, as you can see at the bottom here, is written Garbera straight. As you can see here, it got a little. We got a little grave here and then next we have a decal so the decals here we have a lot we have well it's actually compared to the compared to the rg new that i recently built it's not too much it's just it's just it looks a lot but it's actually not that not that much next we have a g1 runner this is the backpack this is the feet feet and this is the feet this is the Oh, well, this is the backpack. I think it's part of the backpack as well. This is a shield. This is the torso. Uh, torso uh, the torso parts. This one here is the shield handle. And then we have the head, part of the head. And then we have the beam rival here. And then we have the, the katana handle. This is the B runner. It's the MS Advanced joint. So you've been seeing this like a lot of times. This is like the early years when RG like we're not still very good yet. Uh, this is the advanced MS joint here. And then we have the A runner. This is the legs part, legs part, arms, hands options. And then we have this one right here is the shoulders, the top of the shoulders. And then I, I forgot which two parts is this. This is the part of the backpack I remember. This is the kneecaps. Uh, this is the head, this is uh this is the power of the head as well this is i don't remember which part this is, but this all the scopes here is either for the rifles or for the head this one right here we have two beam saber effect parts as well and next we have an f runner the f runner we have we can see a uh, hands option here we can see that this one is for the connector between the backpack and the torso this one right here is for the shoulders we have next up, we have a E runner. The E runner, this is the inner frame of the legs. And this is the, this is the, this is the legs as well. And I don't remember which two is this. This one is the torso, torso, and I don't remember this one. D runner, next up, we have the inner frame of the shield, the antenna, the, I don't know which two is this actually, to be honest. This one is the head and we have, this one is the part of the shoulder, I think. This is the back of the shoulder. And then, and well, actually this one is the arms. This one is, I don't really know though. Oh my God, I have a long time to build Astray. I forgot which part is which. So C runner, we have a shield. We have legs part, waist. We have head, uh, head, head and head and we have legs part we have the this is oh my god it's already it's always it's already fell it's already falling off this is the beam savers this is the shoulders and then we have the uh pilot's figure and then we have the gabriel strike storage 
I runner, all about the Gabra strict parts. And then lastly, with an X runner, which I don't really know which part it is. I'm sorry. Anyway, this is this is all the runner's introduction. So I will see you guys in the review. Hey guys, welcome back to the review. So this is the finishing of the red frame. So if you see like uh, all kind of gunplay at the side, because uh, I gotta tell you that my display shelf ran out of spaces, and I abs and I actually have nowhere to store my gunplay, so I just leave it on the table. It's kind of getting a little dusty, so I was just trying to find a display shelf as soon as possible, so it's not dusty anymore. So anyway, so today we're gonna focus on the red frame. So red frame, you know, uh, Astray series I review about, uh, including this one is three of them. Um, so, you know, the structure, the, the pros and cons, I think I go through it like a lot of times, so I don't really have to keep repeating, repeating and repeating. So I'll just, you know, down to the main part so overall this is a very solid kit uh it's not like and if you're someone that like uh like fancy stuff i don't think this will catch your eye because you know astray red frame is a very simple ms uh beam rifle a shield and a beam saber and basically a katana that's basically it so uh, as I mentioned at the start, I did bought the third party expansion set for him, so I will put it on later. I put it on at an, at the next video anyway. So overall, the finish I think it's a pretty solid kit, and I kind of like it actually. And you know, I miss the days when back in the old days, RG got this much decals on it because nowadays, RG yes sometimes I complain decals are too much, but actually decals is very important to make it more detailed. And look at this, so just look at the shoulders. Look at this. The amount of decal here is crazy. So, you know, I really miss the old day when decals is like, uh, it have like a correct number instead of nowadays, it's either too less or it's either too much. So, you know, I miss the days where it's like kind of like average decal size. But anyway, this is like not the very important stuff. So I'm just going to go into the review. So looking at the head, the head is just, just like any other Astray that I review. It's, it's not like very special. So as you can see here, we can see the eyes and Astray face. Uh, I mean, Astray head is looks kind of long. This is a very traditional thing. And you know, it got a huge V VIN. So, you know, it's not nothing like that. But the V VIN actually got the same problem like other Astray is, uh, if you press down the feeding, it will pop out. So, you know, the best way to do it, glue it. It will help you a lot. But as you can see right here, the Astray uh, head, it looks uh, kind of gorgeous actually. And the color separation done very well about that. We even have two decals at the side. And then looking at that, um, looking at the head, it, I think it looks, it looks kind of great. So moving, so the movement on the head is just only uh, very limited because there's two large pieces there's two pieces on the chest as actually getting in the way so astray's head is not going to move like um other rgs but you know the head movement i think i kind of accept it so you know depend on you but i'm pretty happy about it so right now we're going to look at the torso the torso is done beautifully just like the other astray that i reviewed before but my astray got a little bango so you know um my, the Astray is supposed to can be bending, uh, so the waist is supposed to can be bending front. But when I when I move it, the whole thing is just gonna pop off. So I can't really show you that. So I'm just gonna pull it from the back. So actually, Astray is supposed to move it like that. The the waist part is supposed can be moved like that, and then you know it retract it back. But when I pull the back, when I pull the waist, uh, I mean when I pull the connect connection between the waist and the torso, the whole thing is just gonna come out. So I got a little mango. Uh, I think I, I can't really do anything about it, but you know, showing you the movement. So Astray, because there's not, right now there's nothing interrupting it. So 360 movement is possible. The side skirt can be moved as well. And now looking at this, so the torso is as difficult as uh, before. It's just the same thing. You just need to pull out. Oops. You just need to put out, pull out the, pull out the parts and then you'll lift it up. And there you go. The cockpit is open now. Like. You know, you've seen this copy like a hundred times because I open it, I always opened it anyways. So uh, let's just snap it back. And other than that, there's not much to talk about on the torso. It's just a pretty standard archery torso. And as I said, it's done beautifully. Now let's zoom out and look at the arms. So the arms here, uh, you know, it's pretty standard. It's not like very outstanding or anything like that. So moving 360, uh, lifting up and then, you know, bend 
uh, band is uh, band is a little off because the joint inside is not really is not really like um, bending like the nowadays model. So it still have a double joint in it, but it's just not. It's just the angle is not that impressive. So the the arm can move, but for some reason my ashtray feel more more tough to turn around when I try to when I try to move when I try to change the arms of uh, direction uh it feel more tough i don't know is it my only my problem or it's always been like that because on my other asteroids i never received this problem so i don't know why for some reason when i try to turn the turn the i uh, turn the hand i turn the arms and it, it's kind of tough so you know just be it just be careful about it so you know the arms <clears throat> they don't really have any special things so these two holes right here uh is for you to plug in the shield so other than that the arms don't really have anything to say well there's something that you can say the decals on it is absolutely crazy and i love it now let's look at the lower part of the body so as you can see here this front skirt is like the x shear type which is uh, basically is nothing <laughs> and then we flip it to the back we can see the back skirt here as well which i just demonstrated so the back skirt you can move you can move up uh, the back skirt contains a little bit of articulation but once you push out the back skirt is basically bending the uh, ashtray so it's a it's like a it's like a linking process so and then the front skirt here's the thing that i really hate because the ashtray front skirt is so hard to turn and i really hate to turn that you know the ashtray front skirt it is turnable but i really hate to turn it it's really hard to, for me to turn so as you can see right here so the legs look at this this is such a good articulation right here so it can achieve like a one thing and then oh my god look at this it's, it's, it's broken again the, the the upper part i don't know why why my red frame is always popping out like that i don't know why so you know uh kicking to the front absolutely no problem kicking to the back no problem as well and my ashtray red frame is gonna it's, it's about to pop i don't know why can you stop popping for one second let me finish my review please and then um and then we have and then the ashtray red frame we can bend as you can see here this bending angle is pretty impressive and you can see that all the details all the details all the armor movement it is pretty sweet i gotta say that it is pretty sweet so yeah but they still contain the same problem though if you twist the if you twist the legs uh this little armor piece here is still gonna fall out so they still they still have the same kind of problems which i have nothing to do with it just oh my god there we go it's fixed now so you know this part right here is moving a little bit so the so the legs here uh, i mean the feet here we can turn we can change the direction of it and it also got like the early out g type where it's a if, where it's a triple joint so at the tip of the feet the the main body of the feet and then at the and then at the actual joint right here it, it, they all are movable so it's pretty good and then the feet right here we can move slightly a bit to change the angle change where it's facing so i think the legs is still pretty good it's just i don't know why my red frame is keep popping out can somebody keep, please help me oh i forgot to mention that the red frame can actually go side by side a little bit just a little bit well it's not that important so i would just leave it like that and now turn to the backpack the backpack always contain the same problem that i had for complaining all three ashtray is that i don't know why this sticker you created is so easy to pop out you told us to you know put it on here and it just keep gonna popping out like every five seconds i don't know why you created this sticker the stickers are horrible okay so right here right now so as you can see that uh the reference backpack it is a is it it is contain a little bit of movement right here and because it's a hook that attached on it so that's why it's movable and we have the beam savers here the beam savers here the position you can you can adjust it because it's a it's an initial joint in there so you can adjust it the backpack uh you can take it off you can take you can actually pull out the whole thing and then lower it to its waist it is possible um just like the other asteroid that i reviewed before and you can clip it back like this so you know it's nothing like really new or really fresh it's just the same thing that i it's just the same thing that i said before so first as usual we got the pilot figure which you can paint it i i really don't want to paint it okay so because it's an early rg so we still have this kind of hand which is a full movable hand and you know you're not gonna use it and then we contain this weapon holding hand for the beam saber and the gabara straight and then we have an 
a, a very lonely open hand for the left uh, for the left arm, and then we have a trigger hand on the right arm as well. This one is for the beam saber, of course. We have the extra base adapter, and then lastly we have this you know this very boring beam rifle that you look at like a thousand times anyway. So it still contains the same feature where you can store at the back of the waist. So simply just find the simply just find a plug and then just plug it in. Oops. I got it wrong. Just give me a minute. Oops. So now there you go. So it still contains the same thing like the other Astray series where you can plug it on the back, back, uh, back, back skirt armor. So still the same thing. So now it's the shield. So this shield right here is just like the gold frame and the blue frame. It's just except the color changes. Uh, flipping to the back, we have a plenty of detail. So do your pen aligning and then. Uh, we have some uh, foil stickers here and then this handle right here obviously it can move and this is the connect this is the connection point for the red frame so basically it's pretty simple you just find the hole at the back of the hand and then just simply puck uh, simply plug it in so once you plug onto the red frame it should look something like this and i just take out the beam rifle so it makes makes me easier to operate well for this astray though it look it's just like the other astray because um it, it got a separate it got a separate beam saber for you to hold on the hand so we have this one with a with a extra part here for you to plug into the uh, action hands for you to hold it and beam sabers it's just an independent thing that i put on it so basically it looks like this so you have two pair of beam sabers one is for display purposes and one for you to play with it and lastly i'm gonna save the best thing for the last so the gabara straight um look at this so we're just gonna quickly look at the details on this so look at this thing i don't know why my camera isn't focusing please so as you can see here we can clearly see see that it says gabara strength right here this little decal here makes a lot of difference so you know it just works like an actual katana you can pull out so look at this so if we look at if we take a look at this uh can you please zoom in please please come on uh so it works just like a normal katana this uh the gold the gold parts on it um is is a very is a horrible plastic gold so i spray it to metallic gold it looks a little bit better uh as i can tell and you can hook this you can hook this on the side skirt by using this little piece here so i'm just going to quickly show you how to do it so basically you just find it and then you know pop put it on and done just like this it's very simple it's very easy anyway guys this is the end of the review hope you guys enjoyed this so red frame is a very solid kit if you really want to enjoy like a very budget control kit uh this one is a good option plus for early stages of rg uh it is pretty so it is pretty stable and it won't as sloppy as the early RG. So definitely worth it to buy one if you haven't. But I mean, like Red Frame is a very old build. So I think most of the majority of the RG players may have it now, not like me. So anyway, I will see you in the next video. I will equip on the expansion set. Leave a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel for more content. Make sure you hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I upload a video. And I will see you guys in the next review. Goodbye.